Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and uh, within this video, I'm going to explain some high-level things that you may want to check to uh, spot a fake Rolex. Now, obviously, if in doubt, always do business with an authorized dealer because if you're doing business with an authorized Rolex dealer, you're uh, pretty much guaranteed to get an authentic piece. But if you're looking for discounts and you know how to haggle then you may want to know how to better authenticate a Rolex. Now, again, there's a lot of good fakes, so I'm going to throw my disclaimer out there that even performing these steps may not properly authenticate a Rolex. Uh, with that being said, uh, newer references such as this, this is a 114-060 Submariner. Newer references su such as this, there's one big thing that you're going to want to look at and you can't see it with the naked eye, but right above the six o'clock position, there's actually a, uh, it's a Rolex hologram that's laser etched into the sapphire crystal. Now to see that, what I recommend doing is, uh, and it, it could be a little bit challenging at first, but what I do is I would go in a dark room and then I would get my camera phone light and I would put it kind of right on it. And then I would look at it from an angle and right above the six o'clock position, if you're looking at it from this end, right above the six o'clock, you should be able to see that hologram. And again, this isn't present on all pieces, but the ones that I think, I think it was around 2008 or so, they started using the laser etched hologram in most of their pieces. So definitely something to check because that's really hard for counterfeiters to, uh, to do. And there are some that do, but the dead giveaway is that if you see that hologram at six o'clock, very pronounced, and you don't have to uh, shine light or hold the, uh, hold the piece at a certain angle, that's a good indication that it's probably a fake. Something else with the newer models is called the Ring of Rolex. So around there, around the edge, you'll see Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. So that's another thing to look for. Again, that's something that counterfeiters can fake. Down here at the six o'clock position on, in, on the inside of the ring, there's uh, its serial number, and I'm not gonna show you that, but you know that's something else you wanna check. Just look at the overall finishing of the dial. Look at the, uh, just look at all the details. Hold it in your hand. Does it feel to be of good quality? If it's a newer model Submariner such as this, the ceramic should have a very nice look to it. The action of the bezel, in the case of the Submariner, it's got a very uh, good feel. Overall fit and finish of the watch, you know, look at the crown, uh, something that a lot of people don't realize. See, I've got this completely screwed down. But when I do, you can see the logo is kind of tilted to the left a little bit. So if you think you're gonna screw down the crown, and it's going to be perfectly up and down, that's probably not the case. Look at the bracelet. Um, in this case, this is the, uh, this is the uh, one with glide lock. Look at how it's, how it's put together. In the case of the 114060 Submariner, it uses screws instead of pins. You know, look for this piece here on the bracelet. Again, this is the 114060. Look for small things inside of the bracelet. Like right here, it says steel, Inox. Look at the logo. Obviously, I've, I've worn this heavily in the shower and hot tub, so it's got soap scum build up on it. But, you know, just look at the small things. Look at the uh, back of the case, how it's finished. Look at how the bracelet meets the case. Look at the inside of the clasp. I mean, again, there's a lot of people that are counterfeiting Rolexes. So, you know, if in doubt, make that purchase from that authorized dealer. But today, at least at the time of posting this video, due to the shortage of Rolex watches, a lot of people are forced into buying from the gray market 
which are not authorized dealers, and they're running the risk of getting, uh, you know, picking up a counterfeit Rolex. So, you know, that's making it more important for people to become at least somewhat knowledgeable about, uh, you know, telling, is it a fake? You know, might it be real? And without a doubt, if you buy from an authorized dealer, you're going to get the box and papers. Some people assume that buying gray market, just because they're getting box and papers, that that means it's authentic. And that's not the case. Because most anybody could pair papers with a counterfeit watch. So say, for example, a counterfeiter, maybe they bought a legitimate piece from an authorized dealer, but then they took the papers and the box from a legitimate piece, kept everything else the same, but they replaced the watch with a counterfeit watch. So in that scenario, just because someone got box and papers, that didn't mean that the, uh, that the watch itself was authentic. So again, buying from, a, from an authorized dealer is super important. But again, it's not a necessity because a lot of people, just because of supply and demand, a lot of people are forced into buying from the gray market if they're looking for a particular reference. And when they do, their level of risk is heightened. So, you know, and when, when these things become aged, this one, for example, I picked it up in the Cayman Islands many years ago at an authorized dealer. So I know it's authentic. But even, even, uh, even after purchasing from an authorized dealer, I wanted to perform my due diligence just to make sure that everything checked out. And sure enough, on this one, I've got the, you know, as we mentioned earlier, the laser etched uh, uh, Rolex hologram that appears at six o'clock position in the right lighting. I've got the, you know, the great bezel action. You know, obviously everything's perfect. And I do have the papers because it is authentic. But, you know, there's, there's times where, you know, again, where people will make that purchase from a gray market dealer or maybe from an individual. You know, maybe they've got someone that is selling something that the price tag seems to be super cheap and they really, uh, you know, they want to take advantage of that opportunity. You know, maybe they're a collector, uh, maybe they're a flipper, you know, maybe they're buying something and, and it's, you know, it's a really low price and then they're, they know that when, after they buy it that they'll be able to make a substantial increase because uh, these things, uh, high quality Swiss timepieces now like Rolex, they're becoming a huge investment vehicle. So a lot of people are buying these watches uh, with the expectation that due to annual increases that the price will likely continue to go up. So people are buying these and then they're reselling them. You know, so that's another situation where someone would, would want to be better familiar with that watch and be able to, you know, just give it a quick look over. Oh, and here's another thing right here. On the crown, this being a Samaritan 114060, you can see it's got the Rolex logo on the crown, and then it's got three dots below it. Those three dots signify triplock crown. So if this crown was, was, uh, didn't have three dots, <laughs> there's an indication that something may be wrong. Another thing with gray market, you know, let's say that uh, let's say that it's sold gray market as new, meaning that it has all the shrink wrap on the bracelet, the shrink wrap on the watch. It's got the tag still attached. But what about the back, the case back? Something I've also heard of people doing is that they'll take a brand new watch and they'll, in essence, what's called Frankenstein it. So they'll go in, take the movement out, replace it with a, uh, with a super cheap movement, but the watch itself and all the external finishings are authentic, but the movement may have been completely replaced. It may have had uh, core components taken out of it. So again, you know, another reason, unless you can't buy from an authorized dealer, another reason to be ultra careful if you're, if you're buying a Rolex gray market or from a, 
from an individual seller. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration. Again, box and papers don't mean everything. Box and papers don't really mean much at all. <laughs> so, you know, be aware of the possible scams. Know enough about what you're buying so that you can look at it. You can feel it in your hands. And you can at least have a reasonable sense of certainty that it's probably authentic. So, again, and I keep reiterating this, if in doubt... Go to an authorized Rolex retailer, authorized Rolex dealer. But if you do buy gray market, you know, don't just jump in and make assumptions because that's where people really get into a bad situation. So tell me what you think. Check out my website, expand this video's description, and you can find a link to it there. I've got a lot of uh, timepiece videos now and a lot more coming soon. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up it Subscribe to my channel, ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And uh, check out all my other videos too. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Thanks again for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. If you're looking for uh, Irix Guy's Adventure Channel merch, like this t-shirt, and a lot of other cool stuff, expand this video's description. You can find it all there. Y'all have a good day.